6, and continue on version 5 in terms of uh, release 2012 and R21. So we, uh, again, we take a scenario, maybe an OEM here, who, again, exploring in the, the silver layer, opening their data set, um, they have to go in and, and make a, respond to a change order, we have to build a bracket here, again, just a simple uh, scenario to illustrate this. But of course, I, you know, use part design, functional world and part, there's a lot of different ways to do this. And I build a, you know, I start to build up a specification here. So, you know, a simple pad to start with, we want to maybe fill, fill it in. And we want to take this information and provide it to, um, again, it can be a supplier outside of your company, it can be another department inside the company. Um, this is, you know, for example, it, it uh, doesn't matter which one it is. So, what we can do, obviously, is take this today, and this, again, we do this now. This is something we do between five versions of five and between Katia V6 and five. We use the downward compatibility as a result, and we publish that out as a set of files, or we publish it uh, to the database for V5 user to retrieve. So in V5, that user obviously gets the cat products and the parts that I've, I've provided to them. And if we go in and we look at that, that shape that we built, this is what they get today as a result. They get an isolated solid, which provides some capability. It does provide us the capability to, in this scenario, of course, as we mentioned, we could do manufacturing off of this, we could do DMU, we could do um, drawings, we could do a lot of stuff. We can add additional features to this. So in this scenario, this designer is just adding some additional features to this bracket and finishing out the design based on what was provided by the OEM. And once that's complete, okay, we can see there is specification from the TOD5 designer that's been added, but again, we started with, it, with a as a result at the top. These are just, again, as I mentioned, you can add fillage, you can add you know, additional features on top of that. It's still a TOD5 solid object, which is the same that can be sent back around trip to Kadimi 6, so the Kadimi 6 designer from the OEM we can now incorporate that new design by replacing the one we started with with the one that was provided from the Kadimi 5 designer. And so that's that's capability we do today, and that's uh, capability that's, that's existing between both Kadimi 6 and Kadimi 5, the five different levels, is the end result. We've had that, it's nothing new. So, the next scenario is going gonna, is gonna to look at this flywheel, this, this wheel for the, the belt. And we're going to now go through a similar scenario where we're going to go into this video as we're a little bit slower. I'm probably talking this also now. So, we're going to go through this flywheel that has a pattern on it. You can see the specifications in the tree up there. So, we have a part body, we have um, a pocket, we have a pattern for those pockets, we have a three hole pattern pocket. Um, we've got some knowledge where rules in there, okay, this is just exploring and showing you, you know, this is full spec, which is, you know, this is exactly what you'd see in V5, a similar spec. So this time we're going to send this back to v 5 as specifications, okay? So this is the capabilities with V6R 2012X and the new version of V5 coming, V5-6R 2012. Okay. Some of you are going to put in this 22. So in V5, we, we can see we do get the full access to all the features. So that means as the designer of V5, I can go change the circle hole pattern. Uh, I can go change the pocket definition. I can start to redesign this, uh, or just for the, the benefit of understanding what was built, I have full access to it. I don't have an isolated solid. So this is a key functionality that we really you know, work to, to make sure we provide to our customers. And here we actually we, we can access everything but we still trigger an OEM rule that was written to be So the rules, everything comes over. And the OEM rule which was written in V6 is still uh, valid in V5. So in addition to that, because we will have alignment between this version of V5 and the version of Katia V6 that this was sent to, we'll be making enhancements to the core functionality or, or the mechanical, functional, like all the enhancements we make at that level of the Katia V6 version also will be available with the Katia V5 version. So this is a, a new functionality to create the silhouette that was not in V5R21, but because we released this version of 6 and 5 at the same time, the alignment allows us to provide that same technology. So you won't have functionality that a V6 designer could do and then, oh, well, the, the V5 version I have doesn't 
support that. That's, that's why it was important for us to align the development processes. So again, this comes back to ktv 6 and of course, as we expect in ktv 6 we see everything the way it was built in ktv 5 So this really brings us to a level of coexistence that we needed. Um, this brings us to a, a level of coexistence that provides an unlevel capability between the two versions, and it removes the you know some of the inhibitors to start looking at ktv 6 and ktv 5 uh, you know, bridge area.